The most recent Indicators of School Crime and Safety report from the National Center for Education Statistics has new data about crime on college campuses across the United States. In 1990, the United States federal government established the Gene Cleary Disclosure of Campus Security Policy and Campus Crime Statistics Act, known as the Cleary Act, which requires institutions to give timely warnings about crimes to students and staff, to publicly report campus crime and safety policies, and to collect, report, and disseminate campus crime data. These data are used to analyze just how safe our campuses are. Overall, the number of reported crimes on college campuses is lower than it was a decade ago. From 2001 to 2015, the number of reported on-campus crimes decreased by 34%. In 2015, about 27,500 criminal incidents took place at public and private two-year and four-year colleges, a 2% increase from the previous year. During the same time period, the number of on-campus crimes per 10,000 full-time students increased from 18.0 to 18.5. What kinds of criminal acts occur most often on campus? About half of the on-campus crimes reported in 2015 were burglaries. Other commonly reported crimes included forcible sex offenses, motor vehicle thefts, aggravated assaults, and robberies. Robberies, unlike burglaries, are thefts that include threat or use of force. Out of the top five types of crime, forcible sex offenses were the only type of on-campus crime where higher numbers were reported in 2015 than in 2001. The number of forcible sex crimes reported to campus authorities increased by 262% from 2001 to 2015. That includes an almost 18% increase between 2014 and 2015. Visit nces.ed.gov to view the full report and learn more about crime and safety in America's schools and colleges.